my son, who spends a lot of time on YouTube, tells me that one of the most popular bits on YouTube are unboxing, where people get things out of a box and they recreate the excitement of opening your box of things that you've ordered on the internet. Well, this box was sent to me ages ago, and I'm not around to opening it yet. So um, I think it's probably something dog-related in here. Not 100% sure. <laughs> but Alexandra and Megan are going to help me um, unbox. So um, should, I, should I do this, the sharp bit? So the um, Blue Peter bit where some... You know, make sure you've got an adult to do this. Right, here we go. Right. <laughs> I'm always going to delve in. I'm scared. <laughs> Oh, there's another box inside. Oh, no. Why? <laughs> right, here we go. Let's see if I can do it. This is just one box. Now, this is giving away how long this is sat here. It says on here, completely conquers home for Christmas. Dog shampoo. Oh, I should have opened this at Christmas. Let's uh, get a bit nearer in. Oh. <sighs> I didn't think it's gonna be dog shampoo. Ah, ah, it is a bottled dog shampoo, but there's loads. Of tr oh no! Oh, there's some treats that might have got a bit mouldy. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing, isn't yep. it? Should have opened that at Christmas. Let's ignore the mouldy treats. <laughs> I think these ones are okay. They, oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. know. Oh no! They were fresh. And they've not been, I feel despicable. Put the chopper mould on that. Oh dear. <laughs> right, let's put that away. Okay. Let's concentrate on the bit that is survivable. That's, uh... <laughs> oh, that's horrible. <laughs> Completely conquers. <laughs> this is like QVC, isn't it? But this is a really interesting product. We've done a, a this is the prize that you get. We're well, not the home for Christmas one particularly, that we get on our um, puzzle page in Dogs Today. Anyway, these shampoo bottles, as well as apparently, I was told it's. Let's have a sniff. Ooh. That's quite nice. Yeah. <laughs> I was told that the um, people who are making the shampoo are a bit like. Um, well, I, I may have got this wrong, but something to do with Joe Malone. <laughs> I, well, I, I'm, I'm just saying, allegedly. We don't know if it is. But the, the big thing about this. Uh, these products is that they carry on the back a photo of a dog that's been missing for a very long time. Uh, the whole brand is named after Conkers, and Conker has been missing for for years. Their idea is to help keeping these dogs' names and photos in people's minds. Somebody knows the end of these stories. Dogs just don't vanish completely. If the dog was dead, there'd be a body. Um, these days, if uh, a dog is killed on the roads, the environment agency um, has to scan and has to see if, if anyone owns that dog. What the fear is, um, but also it's a happy fear, is that somehow or other the dog has been rehomed and you might have a dog that looks like Hugo sitting at your feet and there's someone looking for that dog and they really would like to know because someone may have rescued this dog through a third party without realising it was lost or stolen. And just like the milk bottles in um, America have got pictures of missing kids, these shampoo bottles have got a different, each brand's got a different missing dog on a different long-term one. This one's Hugo, who went missing September 2013 on Saddleworth, um, Manchester, a Yorkie cross. Would been six years old now, microchipped, so theoretically... If someone had bought this dog, they would have gone into the vet and the dog vet would have scanned. But the law is that the vet doesn't actually have to tell the owner that they have the dog in front of them. They, they have no obligation to scan. Not no. vets with new patients, not rescues, not dog pounds. There have been several cases, quite heartbreaking, where dogs were actually put to sleep despite being microchipped. So they could have been reunited with their owners very yeah. easily. So that's a, a, one of the long running campaigns that we've been backing. Debbie Matthews runs a fantastic vets get scanning where um she, her two dogs were stolen from a car and she knows that how heartbreaking it is and how worrying dog theft is and even though she got her two dogs back um she stayed in um helping other people get reunited and campaigning for shipping to mean something because vets should scan vets should ch and so should 
dog wardens, so should everybody, but there's no compulsion at the moment. So, yes, do join in on Facebook um, and other social media outlets and put your weight behind the campaign and look out for Completely Conquers. There's lots of... Do- every different flavour. Do you have a flavour? <laughs> every every variety yeah. has got a different lost dog on it. There we go. <laughs> anyway, so... T- Tune in, and um, if you want to send us a box of stuff that we can open on air that hasn't got mouldy stuff in it, <laughs> do feel free. It's very important that you tick the bell here and subscribe to this video channel. Otherwise, you're going to miss out. And tell your friends if they love dogs. Really, please tune in. Also, keep up with our Facebook pages and also our websites: dogstodaymagazine.co.uk, dogsmonthly.co.uk, and perfectlyyappy.com. Um, and comments, please tell us how we're doing. And if you want to see anything specific, do make some comments.